Thank you so much for watching Landom Sea Goes There. Please subscribe and hit the like button and the bell notification button. Stripes is a 1981 American war comedy film that was directed by Ivan Reichman, and it starred Bill Murray, Harold Ramis, Warren Oates, P.J. Souls, Sean Young, and John Candy. Ramis was the co-writer of the film, along with two other people. The storyline for the movie goes that after losing everything that he holds dear, all in the same day, the completely rudderless New York City slacker, John Winger, has a complete epiphany. Since his life is already a mess, why not enlist in the army? He dreams of free meals, meeting girls, exotic travel. What could be better? He then talks his unmotivated English teacher best friend, Russell, into joining the U.S. Army with him. However, surviving the grueling boot camp and the demanding drill sergeant is easier said than done. After somehow making it through to graduation, they are given a special assignment. But thanks to John's romantic interest in a pretty MP, the other men wind up behind the Iron Curtain until John Russell, their dates, and Sergeant Holka make a daring rescue attempt in explosive style. En route to the premiere of Meatballs, Ivan Reichman conceived of the idea for a film called Cheech and Chong Join the Army. He pitched the Stripes idea to Paramount Pictures, who immediately greenlit the film. The screenplay was written, and it was read to Reichman over the phone. Cheech and Chong's manager at the time thought the script was really funny. However, that comedy duo wanted complete creative control over the project. The producer then suggested that what they do is change the two main characters to one suited for Bill Murray and Harold Ramis, figuring that if they could interest Ramis in the project and let him tailor the script for the two of them, he could convince Murray to do it. Ramis had already co-written National Lampoon's Animal House, Meatballs, and Caddyshack, but he was definitely unknown as a film actor. His best-known acting work prior to Stripes was as a cast member for the late-night TV sketch comedy Second City Television, which he had quit years earlier. Columbia Pictures wasn't happy with Ramis' audition at all, and the studio told the production to hire another comedian for the part. Dennis Quaid was brought in to read for the role of Russell, and Ramis himself was pretty reluctant to appear in the film initially, but Murray told him that he didn't want to work with anyone else other than him, and that he would leave the film altogether unless he played that other principal character. Casting director Karen Rhea saw Conrad Dunn on the stage and asked him to come in and read for the role of Francis. This all happened in New York. Judge Reinhold played Elmo, and he was given the best jokes from the Cheech and Chong draft of the screenplay. Sean Young was cast basically on her looks alone, and the producer felt that her sweetness would go well with Ramis. Kim Basinger agreed to play in the film as the part of Stella, but her agent just demanded way too much money. P.J. Souls tested with Murray, and they got along great. The chemistry was really there. John Candy was brought in, and he didn't even have to audition for his part. Ivan Reichman was a fan of westerns that Warren Oates had been in and wanted someone who was strong, who everyone respected, to control the film's misfit platoon. During the filming of this movie, Warren Oates would tell elaborate stories about working on such fantastic films like The Wild Bunch and describing the craziness that went on on the set. During filming one of the obstacle course scenes, the director told the actors to grab Oates and drag him through the mud without telling the veteran actor about it beforehand, just so they could get his genuine reaction. 
Oates's front tooth got chipped in the process, making him extremely mad at the director for allowing this to be done. Filming began in Kentucky in November of 1980 and then moved to California in December. Principal photography ended on stage 20 at Burbank Studios in January of 1981. The production was allowed to shoot the Army scenes at Fort Knox, the city scenes in Louisville, and the Czechoslovakian scenes at a closed distillery owned by Jim Beam in Claremont. The production had a $10 million budget and a 42-day shooting schedule. It's said that John Candy invited all the men from the platoon to his house while filming was underway for a homemade spaghetti dinner, at which they would watch the famous Sugar Ray Leonard versus Roberto Duran boxing match. The cast got completely drunk and useless for almost two weeks upon hearing the news of John Lennon's death. Even after filming moved to L.A., Bill Murray and Warren Oates had a drunken evening beside the grave of Struther Martin. Now, there was a nine-minute sequence that was filmed in the project where John and Russell end up taking LSD and accidentally end up on a mission to fight rebels in the Colombian jungle. Columbia Pictures loved this sequence. They considered it the best in the film, but the director completely deleted it because he felt that it just didn't fit in to the film's tone overall. During the scene where the recruits received their basic training haircuts, the director didn't tell the actors that real army barbers would be shaving their heads until the scene was actually being shot. He lined all the actors up and shot the scene as scripted to get their genuine reactions to their heads being shaved. The director stated that John Candy became very depressed after this scene was shot. This is why you see him picking up his hair and looking sad when he walks out of the barber shop. Now, the mud wrestling scene has got to be one of the most memorable scenes in the entire film. It was definitely one that was talked about around the water cooler the next day. This scene was completely made up right on the spot by the director. And you would have thought that John Candy would have thoroughly enjoyed his experience with these beautiful ladies. But he didn't. He was very uncomfortable during the filming and was apprehensive to do it at all. He felt that he would appear like a fat pig in all this mud. He did everything he could to talk them out of shooting this scene, but it didn't work. Eventually, after the filming was done, he had a big laugh about it and he didn't understand why he was so apprehensive about it to start with. Take a look back at this really funny film. It's a good one. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll continue to chase the classics.